Okay, so Henry VIII already has a daughter. Why does he need a son so badly that he's willing to risk war with Spain and break away from the Catholic Church? It's more complicated than you might think. So part of the answer is just straight up misogyny, right? The old fashioned kind, women aren't fit to rule, women shouldn't be able to tell men what to do. Part of the king's job, in fact, the main part of the king's job is to defend his country and his people by leading armies into battle, and women can't do that. Or at least Henry VIII doesn't think so. But it's not just that. So Henry's first wife has a whopping six pregnancies, but only one survives to adulthood, a girl called Mary. And for a king, just having one child is putting all your eggs in one basket. Mary could get sick and have an accident and die young, and so she needs a younger brother or sister to come after her. And Henry knows this really well, because he was a younger brother. His older brother, Arthur, died at the age of 15, leaving Henry first in line to the throne. And let's just take a minute to pour one out for the fact that we could have had a King Arthur. Also, as the commenter rightly points out, other European countries are starting to have female rulers in their own right, like Spain. But in England, we'd only tried having a female ruler once before, and it hadn't gone well. It resulted in the Anarchy, a 15-year civil war which... <sighs> was a lot. So Henry's going to be thinking, well, if I leave the throne to a girl, is everyone else going to accept her as legitimate, or are we going to have another bloody civil war? And England had only just got over another bloody civil war called the Wars of the Roses, which was also... A lot! So yeah, even though a girl is technically allowed to rule, he does have some semi-decent reasons for wanting a son. 